गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल एवरी वन हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर हेलो या गुड मॉर्निंग दिस साइड भक्तोष एंड थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस एंड वी आर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फॉर दिस फ्री क्लास ऑफ फंडामेंटल ऑफ पावर बी आई and uh, just giving a, a flow of uh, today's class uh, there are two sessions first session uh, we will discuss the fundamentals of power bi on uh, life tool and uh, all the implementation of power bi and how it works in the second session uh, our placement coordinator will uh, share the current openings and market trends about power bi and uh, relevant jobs uh, under the power bi profiles and the other profiles as well so don't miss the session number 2 as well that will help you to uh, like get insights uh, from the industry and you will get some uh, like uh, like jobs uh, placements and uh, the other other things so uh, we have arpit sir so arpit sir good morning thank you for joining us and uh, here you can start the process thank you so much over to you sir yeah good morning good morning bhavesh thank you for introducing me uh, this side arpit verma is friends hello friends good morning a very good morning to you all okay so before starting the session let me tell you about myself my name is arpit verma and i am the mentor over here just to train you uh, you know the basics of uh, you know power bi okay okay right so let me share the screen because without any delay we need to start our session so this is a free class and uh, you know what is the benefit of this class uh, once you complete the session of today you will get some idea what is the use of power bi and why we are learning this tool okay because you are checking you know something interesting things on google and youtube like power bi is a very important thing in the market so you need to understand what is the use of this tool right so let me share the screen without any delay okay am i audible properly guys okay right so this is my laptop screen you can see so uh, first of all if if i am talking about the power bi fundamentals so what is the use of power bi fundamentals just open this okay so what is the use of power bi because the first question is what is the use of power bi and what is power bi okay so let me tell you what is the you know use of power bi and why we are learning this okay so if i am talking about the power bi as well so power bi is a tool basically tool means a software that is used for creating a dashboard power bi is a tool a software which is used for creating a dashboard now what is a dashboard because you are telling me uh, sir power bi is a tool a software which is used for creating a dashboard now what is a dashboard let me show you by giving some example what is the meaning of this dashboard so if i open the browser sorry if i open my folder because i need to show something what is a dashboard meaning minimize this window and uh, kindly see this picture on my screen yeah see this you can see uh, this is a dashboard dashboard means a collection of charts a collection of charts so this is a dashboard basically so this dashboard can be done by using a software called power bi so power bi is basically a software ek prakar ka ek soft software hai right so power bi is a software a tool which is used for creating a dashboard right dashboard means a collection of charts dashboard means a collection of charts right this is a line chart this is a bar chart this is a pie chart where we are converting our numerical data into the picture form what we are doing here we are converting our numerical data into the picture form so that it is very easy to understand kindly understand this dashboard suppose actually this dashboard is related to the cricket okay suppose there is a player called virat kohli you know indian in it is you know in the indian cricket team uh, there is a best batsman which is known as virat kohli so if i am talking about the total runs of virat kohli then you will get the answer is which is 18k this is the total runs of virat kohli okay what is the total number of matches he played 442 so 442 is a total number of matches he played so it means you are trying to analyze the you know data of the virat kohli and summarized into the meaningful way summarized means you are presenting the single value of a virat kohli that this is the total runs of virat kohli this is the total number of matches he played this is the maximum score he got this is the 
date when he started playing the match when he joined the indian cricket team then this was the date when he started playing the match okay how many times he completed half century in the entire life 95 times how many completed he full century 47 times and how many times he completed 200 runs only one time right so this is the overall you know information of a particular player virat kohli because virat kohli is uh, you know playing from 90 assuming i am assuming the virat kohli is a player which is playing from 1990 and now it's 2024 so in that in the entire period of 20 years what he achieved he achieved total runs how many matches he achieved 442 how many times he completed full century how many times he completed century and how many times he completed 200 runs when he started playing the match in every year what is the score that in 1990 he scored 2 39 runs in 1991 he achieved 47 runs once and uh, this is the total runs you will see which is 18k right so if i am talking about the data you know analysis so data analysis means you have a data and you are trying to find some information from the data and that is known as data analysis like in your classroom suppose you are studying in a suppose you are you know studying in a school okay so in a school there are 40 students assume that okay so class teacher will give you the report like sir in a classroom there are 50 students 10 students are fail 40 students are pass okay like 30 students are below average 10 students are more than average these five students are you know first division second division and third division like that okay and you know uh, four students needs to be conduct a reexamination so what we are the class teacher is trying to do the class teacher is trying to understand how many students are there in a class how many males are there how many females are there okay how many students are passed how many students are failed so basically class teacher is trying to understand the analysis of the data okay because in a classroom there are 50 students so this is known as data but if i get some information from the data how many males are there how many females are there how many students are passed how many students are failed how many of them below average how many of them above average so basically we are trying to understand the you know information from the data and this is known as data analysis so what is the meaning of power bi power bi is a tool a software which is used for creating a dashboard and what is the definition of dashboard dashboard means we are converting our numerical data into this picture form or simple way you can see that dashboard is a collection of charts dashboard means a collection of charts where we are converting our numerical data into the picture form so as we discussed power bi is a tool or software so you need to download this software so you can search on google power bi desktop okay power bi desktop is a software that you can download in your laptop in your pc and it is free of cost free of cost means there is no need to pay any kind of money for that you can download from the official website now let me come about the name of the company who developed this software this software was developed by the company microsoft it is a microsoft you know a uh, company software basically microsoft is the name of the company who developed this software called power bi okay you can download free of cost in your laptop see this is my laptop i am using my laptop basically and you can install just open the google chrome browser and here you can search for power bi desktop power bi desktop right and there is a option called power bi desktop download you can click on it you can see the official website of microsoft because you know very well power bi is the product of microsoft Microsoft is a company who developed this. Just click on it, and a new window will be appear. And now here you need to select the language which is English. And now click on this download button. Click on it, and here you need to click on this button, and then click on download. When I click on this, downloading will be start. You can see downloading will be start here. I have already downloaded this software, so that's why I do not want to download it again. Okay, but you can see the file size file size is which is 487 mb so it's a very you know huge software it's nearly about 500 mb software so you need to download this software downloading will take some time depending on the internet speed of your connection which internet you are using jio airtel or bsnl whatever okay once downloaded you can install okay i have already downloaded this software so i do not want to download it again because this is wasting my time basically let me show you where i have downloaded this software in the download folder you you will see i have already downloaded this software called power bi see this power bi desktop just double click on it 
when i double click on it it will give you this information just click on next 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 your software will be installed in your laptop it will take 10 minutes for the installation it's a heavy software heavy means uh, you need a good configuration laptop like i3 or i5 okay with 8 gb ram okay so because it's a heavy software you can click on next 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 it will be installed right one installed then click on finish and then you will see the desktop icon see on a desktop you will get the icon called power bi desktop just open this okay just open this it will be open in your laptop okay like this so here you can see the name of the company microsoft because microsoft developed this software right so here it is showing the name of the company so it will take time to open once open you will get this interface close this now kindly understand the interface of this software at the top you can see the name of the file and the name of the software there are some options over here you can use this options and what is the meaning of this area this area is known as a report area a report area means you can create a dashboard over here in this area you can see my mouse cursor in this area you can create a dashboard what dashboard you can create this dashboard that i have already shown to you okay so this area is a report area where you can create your report or dashboard and you can see there are some charts here suppose if you want to create a bar chart line chart so you can select any of the chart over here and then create a dashboard basically right okay and uh, if uh, this page is filled up then you can click on the plus button a new page will be open if you want to delete this page right click and there is an option called delete and there is an option called rename as well so suppose if you want to rename this page click on the rename and you can give some name like i am giving the name as test enter so it will be renamed right if you want to delete this page then right click and there is an option called delete so you can click on the delete click on the delete it will this page will be deleted right so in this way by using plus button plus button you can insert more pages for creating dashboards right click you can delete the page and you can also rename the page as well right and this area is known as a report area where you can create a dashboard so what we have covered it we have no we have also covered it about the power bi power bi is a tool a software which is used for creating a dashboard dashboard means collection of charts where we are converting our numerical data into the picture form let me show you the numerical data also how it look like see this numerical data let me show you the numerical data see this is a numerical data yeah this one is a numerical data in the form of excel see this one is a numerical data you can see the numerical data numerical data means this is a column which contains some information and this is a runtime so this is a numerical data let me tell you let me uh, tell you about much more numerical data so just give me a minute let me open the excel file let me open this excel file yeah see this numerical data yeah just double click on it and now you can see the numerical data so this is a numerical data basically you can check this is a numerical data country is afghanistan player is mohammad siraj runs score date match date ground versus so this is a numerical data so could you please tell me the if i am talking about the mohammad siraj so mohammad siraj is a player from the afghan uh, from the afghanistan country and he got 118 score Uh, when he he was playing in the ground called uh, siraj ul ca stadium versus canada and on the time he got 118 runs and this is a match date okay now again the same player is playing with another date in this ground with netherland country so what is the meaning of this data the meaning is very simple a single player from the afghanistan country is playing different matches again i am repeating what is the meaning of the data a single player is playing a different matches on different date with different country and when he is playing different matches then he achieved something different runs one time he achieved 118 other time he achieved 100 runs sometimes he achieved 57 55 37 35 like that so it means a single player is playing multiple matches with different countries and you can see the dates are also there ground is also there canada is also there country is also there and different runs he achieved on different uh, dates right and this is a country where the player belongs this player belongs from the country afghanistan basically okay so as you can see we have a lot of data if i scroll down you can see lots of player are there and every player is playing different matches 
so we have a large amount of data if i scroll down you can see how many data is there see if i scroll down the data is very large so if i want to analyze this data so this is very difficult so that's why we generally use this data into the picture form and that is known as dashboard that is known as dashboard and you can see the dashboard over here right so dashboard means we are analyzing a particular player information and the player is virat kohli you can also analyze a player sachin tendulkar you can also uh, analyze a player called uh, you know any other player yuvraj singh mahendra singh dhoni anything like that okay and give some information like this so it is this information is very easy to understand as compared to the numeric data numeric data is very difficult to understand this picture is very easy to understand and that can be done by using a software called this software called power bi so what we have covered it till that what is the use of power bi what is power bi desktop a software which is used for creating a dashboard and dashboard means a collection of charts where we are converting our numerical data into the picture form now the second step is to what is power bi data transformation data transformation means for creating a dashboard you need a raw data you need a raw data so how to get the data click on this get data and you can select the excel workbook so suppose if you want to load the data from excel file you can use this option if you want to load load the data from the sql file you can load this option so if you have a data in the text file you can load this option so this power bi supports multiple data multiple data means you can load excel file you can load pdf file you can load uh, you know text file you can load csv file you can load the data from the internet you can load the data from the linkd you can load the from the data from aws SQL file, Oracle file. So Power BI supports multiple data loading options. Okay, and that is known as data source because dashboard means you need a numeric data. So once we need to load numeric data, just click on Get Data, and there is an option called Excel Workbook. Just click on it. So suppose I am loading one data, and the data is sample superstore. Let me show you the data. Uh, I am loading a data which is sample superstore. This is my data sample superstore. Why it is not showing? Just give me a minute. Yeah. So this one is a file that I want to load, and this is an Excel file. Click on the open button. So here it is showing the three options because in this file there are three sheets. This one is the order sheet. When I click on it, you will see the preview. This sheet contains row ID. Order ID, order date, ship date, ship mode, and uh, customer ID, customer name like that. So when I click on the sheet, it will show the preview over here. So suppose I want to load uh, all the sheets, so just click on it one by one. This sheet contains two columns: person column, region column, and this sheet contains two columns: return column and order ID. Okay, so I want to load three of the sheets from this file. So there are two options: load and transform. so when i click on the load button the data will be loaded and when i click on the transform button the data will be loaded in the power bi query editor so just click on the transform button when i click on the transform button see what will happen all the data has been loaded in the power query editor you can see at the top you can see the name power query editor so what is the use of this feature this feature will help you to clean your data cleaning means suppose this is a this is my sheet and in the sheet i want to delete this column which column i want to delete this column called ship mode so suppose i do not want this column or suppose i want to delete this column called postal code so just select this column and remove column and just click on this button remove column the column will be deleted the column will be deleted so it means what is the meaning of this power query editor power query editor is a feature basically in power bi which is used for cleaning your data cleaning means you can delete column you can add column you can change the name of the column you can delete rows you can delete blank values you can delete errors so basically this area you can clean your data you can clean your data because you are loading some new data na so you need you need to do some cleaning because sometimes data contains unnecessary columns that we do not want to work so you can delete them So suppose this column is very, uh, you know, frustrating. Like discount column, I do not want to use this column. Or suppose I want to delete this column called row ID. Just click on it and remove column and that 
click on this column this column will be deleted so you can do some cleaning task on the power query editor which is a very important feature in power bi once you load the data before creating a dashboard you can clean the data cleaning means you can delete some column you can add some column you can delete some row delete some blank values okay you can change the name of the column like row id i am changing the column name right click and there is the option called rename and here i am changing called serial number okay serial number enter the column name will be changed right and now as you can see in the second sheet the first row here it is showing column 1 and column 2 this is wrong i want to put Sir, you are not audible. So you are on mute. You are not audible. Now it's audible. Now it's audible. Yes, yes, yes sir. Ah, okay. uh, yes. Actually, sir, I yes. don't know. Yeah, I don't know what is the issue. Automatically, it you know closing. Okay, now, now see, this is the name of the sheet. So suppose I want to perform some cleaning. You can see the cleaning. What I need to do some cleaning. So here you can see we have a column one and column two. So I want to put the first row because column one is the not a you know name of the column. The name of the column is person basically. And here in the second column, the name of the column is region. So I want to put the first row over here. So just click on this button. Just click on this button. It will be shifted upwards, right? It will be shifted upward like that. So person is the name of the column. So there are four persons and region. There are four regions: west region, east region, central region, south region. Now coming to the next sheet. same is here so return is the name of the column and order id is the name of the column second so here it is showing column 1 and column 2 this is wrong so i want to put first row in a place of column 1 and column 2 so how to do that very simple you can use this option called use first row as a header so when i click on it first row will be shifted in a place of column 1 and column 2 just click on it and you can see the difference right so this option will help you uh, to do some cleaning task so the cleaning has been done in this table and cleaning has been done in this table also and cleaning has been done in this table also so do some required cleaning okay suppose i want to delete this column discount so just click this column and you can remove this column by click on the remove column so when i click on it the column will be deleted now suppose if you want to undo this command undo means by mistakenly you click on the remove column by mistakenly you want to revert it revert means you want to take one step back so just cross this option whatever you are doing it will be saved over here apply this step whatever you are doing it will be saved over here just cross this button when i cross it it will be undo it will be undo you can see the discount column is now still showing right it will be undo so this is the benefit whatever you are doing whatever the steps you have applied it it will store the steps if you want to remove the step just click on the cross button it will be undo it will be in the undo but it means that step will be undo right okay so this is the benefit of using the power query editor so suppose uh, let me tell you one more example also uh, like suppose uh, i want to replace this value here it is showing if i click on this arrow so there are three types of value first class same day second class standard class so there are four types of value okay first class same day second class standard class so what i need to do here i need to change the name of the second class to second i want to change the name of the second class to second so very simple just select this column and there is a option called replace value replace value means i want to replace the second class value to second okay just click on it and now you need to search for second class mention second class second class it will search second class in this column and it will be replaced by second like that click on the okay button now you can see all the second class value has been changed to second 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 so suppose i want to change this standard class to first then you can use this option called replace value so where it is replacing the second class value with second 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 and you can see the value has been changed now it is showing second so this is a benefit that you will get some options over here okay this is a benefit that you will get some options over here right now suppose 
here you just ended the cleaning task. Okay, now you can close and load the data. So there is an option called close and apply. Close means close this window and whatever you have done, it will be apply. Apply means it will save the data. So close this. Now the data will be loaded in the Power BI. See, it will it will give you the new window loading. So now whatever you have loaded, so it will be loading. Once loaded, your data will be appear over here in the right side. You can see data has been loaded successfully. And you will get the icon. Yeah, see the data has been loaded and you can see the data. So when I click on this arrow, you will see all the columns are there. Okay, all the columns are there. So this sheet contains this column. This sheet contains two columns. This sheet contains two columns. So data has been loaded. So what is the use of Power Query Editor? Power Query is basically a feature in Power BI for data transformation. Data transformation means you can clean your data. You can add column. You can delete column. You can replace some values. Okay, right. But cleaning is very important because you cannot create a dashboard on unclean data. So you need to clean your data first. Cleaning in the sense, removing unnecessary columns, removing duplicate values, removing rows, changing the name of the column, adding another column according to the requirement. So this type of cleaning you can do. And suppose if you want to do the cleaning more, then don't worry. Just click on this transform data. When I click it again, all the data will be loaded in the Power Query again. See, when I click on this, all the data will be loaded. See, all the data will be loaded again. Now, again, you can start cleaning. So suppose if you left cleaning, then again, you can click on the transform and you can start cleaning. Right? Just simply click on this button. Which button? This button. Okay. So there are two options. Either you can directly load the data in the Power Query Editor and then load the data back into the Power BI. Or once loaded the data in the Power BI, you can again load the data from into Power Query Editor by using this option called Transform Data. So there are two options. Okay, either you can load directly into the Power Query Editor or either you can load over here and then you can go to the Power Query Editor by using this option called Transform Data. Okay. So this option is really good. And suppose I want to show the data. I want to see the data, what kind of data is present in the sheet. So just select the sheet. And if I click on this arrow, then you can only see the columns are there. You cannot see the data, which data is present in this column. So for if you want to see the data, then click on the data view. You can see there's an option called data view. This is a report view basically where you can create a dashboard. So this area is for creating a dashboard. When I click on this button, now you can see the data. See, it is showing all the data. So this is a serial number. See, I have play, I have performed some cleaning. That's why it is showing serial number. Before that, it was row ID. Now it is showing serial number. And right, and you can see it is showing second second. See the second second. See, because I have done some cleaning over here. I have done some cleaning over here. Okay. So whatever the cleaning that you have done in this data, it will be reflected. It will be reflected. And now you can click on the people to see what kind of data and click on the return to see what kind of data, right? So if you want to see the data in uh, in each of the sheet, then go to the data view. If you want to go to the report view, then only you can see the data. You can see only the sheet along with the columns, but you cannot see the data. For checking the data, you need to go with the data view. You need to go with the data view, right? Now I'm going to create one dashboard. So suppose I want to create a chart. So just select this chart. So suppose I want to create a bar chart. So I am selecting this bar chart. Click on it. It will be here. Just increase the size of the bar chart. Close this window. And now for creating a bar chart, when I select the bar chart, it will show two options, x-axis and y-axis. For creating a chart, you need only two things. One one is x-axis and the second thing is y-axis. Generally on x-axis, we generally use text column. On a y-axis, generally we use numeric column. Now if you observe carefully, here it is showing some symbol. Sigma symbol. So what is the meaning of this symbol? This symbol denotes it's a numeric column. This symbol denotes it's a numeric column. And this symbol is a text column. So in a data set, you can see this symbol. This symbol denotes it's a date column. This symbol denotes it's a date column. So by assuming this uh, symbols, you can easily able to understand which is a numeric column and which one is the date column and which one is a text column. So these are the text column and text column generally used on the x-axis and numeric column generally used on the y-axis. Are you getting my point? Just select the graph. Suppose if I select the category on x-axis, 
and if I select the sales on y axis. So here it is showing the graph. Okay, so it is showing category wise sum of sales. Okay, so if I click on this arrow, it is calculating sum of sales. It is calculating sum of sales depend on the category wise. And here you can see it is showing three categories technology, furniture, and office. I want to format this chart. Format means because this font size is very small. The font size is very small. I want to increase a little bit. So very simple. Just go to this format option. Format your visual. Go to the x-axis. If I off, then you can see the difference. Off, on, off, on. So I just do some formatting on a x-axis. Increase some size. It will be bigger. Click on bold and select the color as black. So I'm selecting as black color. Now it is showing three categories, which is technology, furniture, office. Right. And I want to remove this title. You can see it is showing category. I want to remove this title. So off, on, off, on, right. I want to off this title now. Now I want to perform some formatting. Formatting means to apply some color and design something. So I want to apply some formatting on a Y axis. Just click on the Y axis and uh, off the title because I do not want to show the title. Click on the value area and increase some font size like that. And click on the bold. And select the color as black. You can select the as black color and display unit. I want to select the display unit as a thousand. So it will be converted into K before it was a million. Okay. So 0K, 200K, 400, 600, 800K. Right. Okay. Now I want to turn on the data label. Data label means whatever. See, if I put my mouse on this particular bar, it is showing categories technology at the sum is sales is 836,000. So I want to show the number at the top. Just click on the data label. It will show the number at the top 80, 8 lakh 36,000. Just open this and increase some size. Go to the values and increase some size like that. Increase more so that it will be visible. Click on the bold and select the color as black or red that you want. That is your choice. You can select any of the color and you can also go for the more color as well. Okay, right. And horizontal, if I want to change it to vertical, vertical will be look like this and oriental will be look like this, right. So horizontal is good for me. Okay. I want to change the color of the column. It is showing blue color. So just click on the color color and you can select the, this any color that you want. So I'm, I'm giving this color and show all means to change a specific color for technology. I'm giving this color and furniture. I'm giving this color and office this color, right? Okay. Now understand this chart. Come back to the chart here. I'm selecting category and sum of sales. When I select the sales, automatically Power BI calculate the sum of sales. Automatically, Power BI calculate the sum of sales. So why it is showing category technology? We have done eight three six sales. Furniture we have done seven four two sales. Office we have done seven one nine sales. Why? So go to the data view. And if I go to the data view, I select the category. So when I select the category, you can see in the bottom, you can see three distinct values. So what is the meaning of this line? So meaning is this very simple. This column contains only three unique values. This column contains only three unique values. It means there are only three values in this column. First one is furniture, office and technology. That's why if I select this column on my graph, it is showing only three values because in this column, there are only three unique values. If there are four unique values, then it will show four bar graph. If there are five unique values, then it will show five bar graph. But here it is only showing three unique values because this column contains only three unique values. I know the values are repeating. I know the values are repeating. But when I use this column on a graph, it will only show the <laughs> unique values, which are three. Now, why it is calculating? Why it is showing 836? Why it is showing 836? Let me tell you. In technology, we have done 836 sales. Okay, now go to the data view. And if you see the space over here, so you can see here it is showing office, 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 office. So whatever the sales we have done in office, it will calculate the total. Whatever the sales we have done in office only, it will calculate the sum of. So sum of is 146 plus 5 plus 20 plus 110 plus 32 plus 33 plus 58 plus 20 plus 12 plus 6 plus 122 plus 13 plus. So whatever the sales we have done in office only, it will calculate the sum of sales and you will get the answer over here, which is 719K. Why? Because the data is very large. You can see 
how many rows are there in this data set which is 99994 row 9994 was approximately 10000 rows are there in this data set okay so if i scroll down you can see if i scroll down then you can see it is showing technology so whatever the sales we have done in technology only like 199 84 11 it will add all the values of technology and you will get the answer as 836 and you can also manually check this but it will take time if you want to use calculator na then it will take time why because the data is very large so calculation manually is not possible that's why we use tool which is known as power bi so it is showing technology we have done 836 sales furniture we have done 742 sales and office we have done 719 sales like that suppose i want to create a one more chart so i am changing a name as bar chart bar chart suppose i want to create a one more chart called pie chart so very simple take a new sheet and then you can select the pie chart so this is a pie chart you can click on it a pie chart will be created now for creating a pie chart there are two things legend so first of all i am selecting value basically value is a area where you need to select only numerical column for creating a chart at least one numerical column should be there so suppose if i am selecting sales in the numerical column it will give you this answer which is 2297 so what is trying to calculate it is calculating the sum of sales sum of sales means it will go to the data view and it will add the values which is present in this column it will add all the values which is present in this column so if i perform the calculation on this column 146 plus 5 plus 20 plus 1110 plus 32 plus 33 plus 58 plus 20 it will give you how much it will give you 22000 like 22297200.86 right so if i add the all the values in the column sales it will give you the answer which is 22 but if i select the category then you can see your graph has been converted your graph has been converted in three area it means this area is a technology this area is a furniture and this area is a office again it is showing the same result as bar chart in technology we have done 836 so here it is showing 836 you can see this is the technology so here it is showing 836 okay do some formatting go to the format option and sorry select the graph first of all and then go to the format option legend off or on i want to on the legend and go to the text and increase some size like that and i want to put it to the position as a top right corner top right corner the text will be very visible this is known as a legend legend means this color indicates technology this color indicates furniture and orange color indicates office so this is a legend and go to the data label so this is a letter label data label means a number you okay, go to the data label and go to the values and increase some size of the values as well so it will be more visible to see click on it and display unit as a thousand and now i want to i do not want to show this decimal just click on zero and it will not show the display I, and i do not want to show the percentage also so click on the data label and you can select the data value okay if i select the category then it will show the category if i select that percentage of total then it will show the percentage of total but i want to show only data values which is this right and you can also copy this chart So just copy this chart and paste over here. Paste here also. Okay, just paste over here. Okay, now paste over here and decrease some size also. You can also decrease some size. Okay, because I want to show maximum charts. So these are the two charts I am showing. Okay, this one is a pie chart, and the second one is a bar chart basically. Okay, just decrease some size a little bit. Yes, exactly. Increase some size also. Yeah, this one. so this is a bar chart basically it is showing and this is a pie chart but the information are exactly same if you observe carefully here it is showing 836 it is showing 836 but why because i am selecting category wise sales over here and here i am also showing category wise sales so that's why both the charts are same pa I mean, chart are different but the information are same basically but you can remove this category and you can also select any other column so suppose if i select region then it will calculate the sales according to the region why it is showing four region just go to the data view and here there is a column called region so if i click on this column then you can see there are four different values which is first one is a west central so there are four regions so whatever the sales we have done in a west region see there are two columns sales column and region column so whatever the sales that we have done in the west region 
it will calculate 5 plus 20 plus 110 plus 32 and it will give you the answer in a west region we have done the sales called 725 in a east region we have done the sales from 679 and in central region we have done the sales of 1500 and south region 292 right so this is region wise sales. and you want to change the title also so just go to the format visual and go to the journal and go to the title and you can select the title as region wise sales you can change the region wise sales region wise sales sales region wise sales and increase some font size a little bit and click on the bold and you can go to the center alignment and change the color as whatever you want to give some color you can give some color now same thing i don't do i want to apply on this also select this go to the journal and change the title as category by sales because title is very important title means you are giving the message that this is the meaning of this chart category wise sales okay and uh, just click on increase some size and click on bold select the color i am selecting this color and the color can be anything it's depend on your choice basically i am selecting give this color right now now i want to show the total sales so how to do that suppose i want to show a when we started the business i want to show what is the total sales that we have done what is the total quantity we have sold and what is the total profit, uh, pro, total profit we have achieved when we started the business? So if I add this column, if I add all the values in this column, it will show the total sales. If I add this column as well, it will give you the total quantity that we have sold in the business. If I add this column as well, then we have uh, got the idea that what the profit that we have got. Right? So what I need to do here, go to the report view and select a graph called card graph. So there is a card graph basically. Card graph is generally used when you want to show a single value. So select the card graph, decrease some size. And here, if I select the sales column, so it will calculate the sum of sales. By default, it will calculate sum of sales. So it means Power BI is trying to calculate all the sum of all these values which is present in this column. So this column contains much more value. So it will add all the values. Add means 146 plus 5 plus 20, plus 1110, plus 32, plus 33, plus 58, plus 20, plus 12, like this. And you will get the answer, which is 2.3 million. I want to convert into, just go to this, format your visual, go to call out value, and you can select as display unit as 1000. So it will be and round up of to zero. Okay. And I want to remove this title blue. So click on this. Please mute your mic. I think... Somebody mic is open. Please mute yourself. Go to the title and give some title. Total sales. Total sales in business. Total sales in business. Right. Business. B U S I N E double S. Total sales in business. And increase some size. And click on bold. And you can select any of the color of your choice. I am selecting this color. Click on the central and decrease some size. And decrease some size. So this is a total sales that we have done in business, which is 22 like uh, 22 like 97,000. Okay, right. Now I want to I want to know how many quantity that we have sold in the entire business. So this is a three quantity, one quantity, three quantity. So if I add all the values, then you will get the total quantity. So very simple. Just select one more card graph again, and here now just select the quantity column instead of sales column now here i'm selecting quantity so power bi automatically calculate the sum of quantity right so it is showing you have sold 58 quantity of product 58 quantity of product you have to have sold to the customer now i want to apply the same formatting feature in this graph also just click on this graph and use this option called format painter so format painter will copy the formatting feature from this graph and applied when i click it will be applied it over here and go to this and go to the journal and give some title. So title is total quantity. Total Q U A N T I T Y total quantity. Done. So this is the total quantity that we have sold. Now, what is the total profit that we have got in the total business? So if I add this column, then you will get the total profit. Okay, so very simple. Again, create a new graph called card graph. Again, I'm creating a card graph and then select the profit. Then automatically power BI calculate the total profit. Okay, automatically calculate the power BI of total profit. And now I want to apply the same formatting feature in this graph. So very simple, click on this graph, click on format painter and then drop it. So whatever the formatting which, which you have applied it in this graph, it will be applied it to this graph as well. Now go to the journal, 
journal and give some change the title as total profit. Total profit, right? Total profit that we have done and increase some size. Done. Done. Like that. So this is a dashboard basically. A dashboard. Now I'm changing to a name as dashboard. Dashboard means collection of charts. So here it is showing. Now you can present to your boss, to your manager. Sir, this is a total sales that we have done in the entire business. This is the total quantity that we have done in the, you know, in the entire business. We have sold this quantity. And this is the total profit that we have got. It means we have sold the, all the products in 22 lakh rupees, approximately 23 lakh rupees. And what, what, what is the profit that we have got after solding all the product in 23 lakh rupees, which is 2 lakh 87,000. So 2 lakh 87,000 is a profit that we have got when we sold 58 quantity of product in the business. And this is a category by sales. Like technology, we have done the highest sale. Technology means we are selling. What kind of product we are selling in technology? You can see. You can see what kind of product that we are selling in technology. You can see. In technology, we are selling phones. We are selling phones. And we are also selling some other things as well. We are also selling, uh, you know, machines as well. How to know that? Just select the technology only. Here you can select the technology. This basically, I'm applying a filter. Okay. Now it will show only technology. So we are selling four things in technology. First one is machine, phones, coppers, and accessories. So basically we are selling four different types of subcategory in technology. Technology is the main category. And in this technology, technology means we are selling phones, you know, smart watches. We are selling laptops. So these comes under the technology. This comes under the category called technology. So basically we are selling four different types of product in technology. Okay, you can filter it out to understand what kind of data is this and you can clear the filter once you understand the data. So basically in every category, we are selling some different uh, things. Okay, right. And you can understand technology. We have done the highest sales furniture, then office. And this is a region wise sales. Okay. And this is a total profit. This is a total quantity. And this is a total sales that we have done in the entire business. And this picture is known as dashboard. Dashboard means we are converting our numerical data. So this is our numerical data you can see. So this is our numerical data and we are converting into the picture form and that is known as picture form. So what are the requirement of converting? You need to load some data. So what we have covered it till today, we understand what is the use of Power BI. We understand what is the use of Power BI desktop. We understood what is the use of Power Query Editor for cleaning your data. Okay, so you need to load the data from get data. Once loading, you can perform some cleaning tasks in the Power Query Editor. After cleaning, you can create an amazing dashboard and you can select any different charts over here, like line chart, pie chart, area chart, any different chart you can select over here. And these are the columns you can create it. Now, I need to tell you about the use of, which is the most important use called modeling. What is the meaning of modeling? Basically, modeling means suppose if you have a two different files, if you have a two different files, let me show you and you want to connect it. So for creating a connection between two tables that can be done by using modeling. Modeling is basically nothing but a data modeling. So in Power BI, there is a one more view called model view. So when I click on the model view, you can see there are report view where you can create a dashboard. There is a data view where you can see the data and there is a third view called model view. Basically, when I click on it, then you can see it is showing. It is showing the sheets over here. See, it is showing the three different sheets. Okay, and automatically Power BI connected order sheet and people sheet. So if I delete this, right click and click on the delete. First of all, and click on the delete here. So now, what is my question? Let me tell you my question basically. I want to connect this order sheet to return sheet, but why? So if you want to connect order sheet to people sheet, then you can use the option called model view. So data modeling is basically nothing, but we are connecting tables together. But the question is why we are connecting table because I know model view is generally used to make a connection between two tables. We have an order sheet, we have a people sheet and we have a return sheet. Now I want to create a connection between order and people and I want to create a connection between order and return. But why we are connecting? This is our question. Let me tell you. So now I am asking one question. Question is very simple. I am deleting this chart basically. Just click on this three dot and there is an option called remove. You can delete this chart. Now question is very simple. 
I'm taking a new box, so basically text box. Okay, and here I'm typing a question to show which product is delivered D E L I V E R or which one is not D L I V E R E D, which one is not or which one is not, which one is not. And I am selecting as uh, 52. Okay, right. And click on board. Now, question is very simple. Now, understand the question. What is the meaning of this question? Question is very simple. You need to show which product is delivered or which one is not. How to show that on a graph? Which product is delivered or which one is not? Let me tell you. If I go to the data view, then you can see there is an order ID. So, could you please tell me what is the meaning of this order ID? Order ID means if I am placing any order from Amazon.com. Suppose I am I want to buy a new mobile phone. So suppose I am want to buy a new mobile phone from Amazon.com. So if I place any order, then order ID will be generated. If I place any order, order ID will be generated. So wh what is the meaning of this column? The meaning is very simple. This column contains order ID of those customer. When the customer placed an order, the order ID will be generated and you can see these are the order ID which has been placed by the customer. So these are the order ID which has been placed by the customer. Now, after placing the order, this is my task to deliver the order by using any courier service like Blue Dart, Expressway. So whether the order has been delivered or not, how to know this? So we have a one more table called return table. So if you observe carefully, we have a one more table called return table basically. So if I go to the return table, then you can see only two columns are there. Return. And this is the order ID. So could you please tell me what is the meaning of this order ID? Could you please tell me? This order ID contains only those order. You can see how many values are there. There are only 296 values. 296 means this order ID is the order ID which has been returned by the customer. Which has been returned by the customer. Okay. So this sheet contains the information of those customers which has been returned. What is the meaning of this table? The meaning is very simple. This table contains the information. What kind of information? A product which has been written by the customer. And how to know which product has been written? By making sure this order ID. So it means this product has been written. And now you can check whether this order ID is present in this table or not. If this order ID is present in this table, it means that Order has been written, right? Are you getting my point? Are you getting my point? Okay. So suppose if I select this order ID, suppose if I select this order ID, which is CA 2015 and 13554, this order ID means a customer place an order. When I customer place an order, the order ID will be generated. Now, if I select this order ID and match and match with this table, if this order ID is present in this column, then it means the product has been written. And if this order ID is not present, it means it is being delivered successfully. Are you getting my point? Again, I'm repeating. If I select this order ID, which one? If I select this order ID and pick up the, this order ID, CA 2015-135545. So if I select 135545 and match with this table, if 135545 is present in this column, so it means that, that order has been returned. That order means 135545 order has been returned by the customer because this table returns only information about the product which has been returned by the customer. How many products are returned? You can see how many products are returned, which is 296, which is 296. So 296 are the number of products that has been returned by the customer. And how many product has been placed by the customer? You can count this. 5009. 5009 is the number of product, number of product that has been ordered. These are the order ID basically. Okay, 5009 are the number of orders that has been placed by the customer. Okay, that has been placed by the customer. But in 5009, how many orders are written? You can see the information which is present in this table, which is 296. So 5009 are the number of orders that has been placed, and 296 are the number of orders that has been rejected. Okay, so when I match both the order ID, when I match this order ID and with this order ID, 
So if I match successfully, then it means the order has been written. If the match is not successful, then it means delivered, right? So very simple. You can do a one thing. You can create a graph. So suppose if I create this graph, table graph, you can select the table graph and uh, decrease some size and increase this row. Okay, like that. And here I am selecting it. Okay, increase a little bit more. Now I am selecting this order ID. Go to the order table. And now I am selecting this order ID. Then this is the order ID. This is the order ID means I am selecting which order ID, which is present in the order table. So this order ID contains when the customer placed an order. This doesn't matter whether we are delivering or not. The main thing this order ID contains when the customer placed an order. Okay, now what I need to do if I select the return. Now is here it is showing error by. Could you please tell me why it is showing error? Because I am taking one column from order sheet and I am taking another column from return sheet. And as you can see, there is no connection between order and return. That's why here it is showing error. Because I am selecting one column from this sheet, another column from this sheet. So if you are selecting any one column from another sheet or any other column from another sheet, the table must be connected. So I need to connect the table. So as you can see, the order ID is here and the order ID is zero also. So you can connect order ID with order ID. Any common column should be there for connection. So the common column is order ID. Connection will be stabilized. Connection will be stabilized between order and turn. Now you can check. Here it is showing yes, yes. And I'll just increase some size. Go to the values and increase some size. So I'm increasing some size. Now, could you please tell me why it is showing I just increase the header also. Yes, depending done. So now could you please tell me why it is showing yes over here? Because this is the order that has been written and why it is showing nothing over here. This is the order that has been delivered. Okay, because I am selecting order ID, order ID of for what? I am selecting order ID from the order table, which contains the customer when the customer placed an order. Okay, so I'm matching this order ID. I'm matching this order ID with this order ID by using this connection. By using this connection, I'm matching with this order ID because this order ID contains when the customer placed an order. And this order ID contains when the customer returned an order. Okay. And how many orders has been placed? 5009. And how many orders has been returned? 296. Okay. So it will match whether this order ID is matching with this order ID. And now I'm trying to understand. It is showing yes. So it means this order has been written and this order has been delivered. It is not showing anything because this order ID is present in this table, but not in this table. That's why it is showing no, 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 nothing. If this order ID is present in both the tables, like this order ID is present in order sheet as well as return sheet. That's why it is showing yes. This order ID is present only this sheet, not this sheet. You can manually check. You can manually check, not an issue. You can manually check. This order ID is present in both the tables, order as well as return. That's why it is showing yes. But this order ID is only present in order, but not the return. That's why it is nothing showing. So what is the meaning of this chart? Meaning means, if you see yes, then it means this order has been delivered. Sorry, this order has been rejected by the customer. If you can see nothing, then it means this order has been delivered. Are you getting my point? So that's why we need to connect these two tables together by using a common column, which is order ID so that we can easily able to understand which order has been delivered and which order has been rejected. Are you getting my point? So this order has been delivered and these two orders has been rejected. And now you can see also, yes, it is shown. So these order has been rejected. Okay. So if you will see yes, then it will be rejected by the customer. And if you see nothing, then it will be acceptable by the customer. Are you getting my point? So in this way, you can easily able to understand how many orders has been placed. And I want to show how many orders has been placed also. So very simple. You can select the card graph. I am selecting the card graph basically. Okay, I am here. I am selecting the card graph basically. And now you can count the number of orders. So go to the order sheet and go to the order table. And automatically it will give you the first. But here you need to use the count function basically because I need to count the order number. Sorry, which order you need to count? Why it is showing one? I need to count this. Oh, sorry. I need to select the. Just give me a minute. I think something is wrong in that. Yeah, this one is the order ID, you know? This one. I need to count this order ID. Okay, so do a one thing. 
just go to the report view and select the card graph and you can select the order ID. And here I'm selecting the count district. So why it is showing one? Something is wrong in that, I think. Let me check with the connection. Order ID order. Why it is showing one? This is wrong. Nah? I want it will show the number of orders. Why it is not able to count this? If I want to count, then it will show 5009. But why it is not showing? Why it is not counting? I'm not able to understand why it is not counting. I think it should be counting. Why it is not showing? Something is wrong in that. Let me check this again. Take the graph. And if I count this order ID, let me count this order ID. If I click the count button, then it still it is showing nothing. I don't know why it is showing like that. Why it is showing? I am selecting the card graph now. If I am selecting the order ID, then it's still showing the first order ID. If I select the count, then it will show one. This is wrong now. It will show the. No, no, it's just showing something error. Let me check once again. I just delete this connection. I'm deleting this connection again. I'm deleting this connection. Click on the yes button. Now I need to check this whether it is showing or not. If I select the order ID and then count. It is showing blank. I don't know. There is an issue in Power BI. I don't know why it is showing because if I count this column, now it will show uh, 5009. It will show 5009 basically. It will show 509. Not to worry about that. We have a second different option. Don't worry. Just create a connection basically. So I'm creating a connection between order ID and order ID. So that graph will be visible over here. So graph will be visible, right? So these are the order which has been delivered and these are the order which has been returned. Now do one thing. I want to do a thing. I want to count this order. How many orders are there? So you can apply a formula basically. And the formula is known as DAX in basically DAX means data analysis expression, basic functions and formula. So how to apply formula in Power BI and how to apply function in Power BI. So that is known as DAX. DAX is nothing but data analysis expression where you can apply some formula and functions in Power BI. So now I'm going to create a, a formula and functions. So what I need to do here, I need to count this value. How many values are there? Very simple. You can select the sheet and there is an option called new measure. When I click on the new measure, you can type the formula. Click on this new measure and then here you can type the formula. I am giving some name. I am giving name as total orders. Total orders is equal to now you can use a distinct count. Basically, distinct count is a function which is used to count a distinct value in this column. So the column is order ID. Column is order ID. So it will, this is a name of the sheet and this is a column name. So it will count the unique orders from this column. Okay, and now hit enter. You can see a uh, formula has been created. So this is a function I'm using and the function name is distinct count, which will count the unique value in this column order ID and is stored in a total order. Now you can use this total order in the graph. So this is my graph and now I'm using this total order in the graph. Right, like now it is still showing one. Why it is showing one? I'm not able to get this. I think something is the issue here. Let me check. I think I need to save this file. Let me save this file basically on desktop or restart again. Maybe if there is any software issue or test. Let me webinar. I just saved this as webinar. Webinar or click generally save on desktop. So I'm saving this file. You can see the name has been given and now I'm closing it and open it again. Maybe is there any software issue? I just refresh it and I just open it again. Just double click on it. It will be open again. It will be open again. Right? Right. It will be open. Once open, then we can start working again. Maybe it, it sometimes it's software issue. Why it is not calculating? Maybe it, it may be a software issue. Yeah, now it is showing. See, now it is showing 509, right? Correct? See, once we restart the software, then now it is showing 509. And now you can see the formula also. When I click on the formula, now let me show you the formula. Here it is showing distinct count order ID. So it will count the unique values in this column, which is order ID. So how many orders are there? Which is 5009. 
so 509 is a number of order which is a total number of order which is a total orders now i want to show how many order has been returned so very simple go to the data view and now go to the return sheet now i want to count this order so that i can show you these order has been returned so very simple select the sheet and click on the new measure and now here you can type the returned order you can type the formula return order is the name is equal then you can type district count or here you need to type order id but which order id which is present in the return sheet so i am selecting the order id which is present in the return sheet okay because there are two order id first one is order sheet and second one is return sheet okay done so it will count the number of orders which is present in this column and now you can use in a graph select the graph i am selecting table graph and now you can selecting the return order right okay so this is a return order so now this is a total order basically total orders we have done 5009 and how many order has been returned by the customer which is 296 now how many order has been delivered so how to do that if i subtract 5009 which is the number of order that has been placed and 296 which is the number of order that has been returned so if i select if i subtract from 5009 to 926 296 then you will get the delivered order so very simple go to the data view and then you can create a returned order very simple select the sheet and then click on the new measure and then subtract these two values so now delivered d l i v e r e d delivered orders is equal to total orders that you have created a formula called total orders so select the total orders minus return order that you have created return order okay so if i select total order means 5009 minus 296 it will be stored in a delivered order and now you can use in a graph select the graph you can select any card graph and now you can select delivered order so delivered order so you will get the answer 47 4713 so what is the meaning of this line meaning is very simple 5009 is the number of orders that has been placed 296 is the number of orders that has been rejected by the customer and 4713 is the number of order that has been delivered to the customer successfully right and you can see this is the order id that has been delivered and this is the order id that has not been delivered it means it has been rejected by the customer maybe any technical issue the product is not good or any other issue right so that's why we generally create a dashboard and you know what is the use of formula and you know why we connected two tables with each other in data modeling so this is a data modeling data modeling means we can connect two tables but let me tell you what is the main purpose of connecting main purpose is when we want to know this chart when this chart is not possible to create without connecting if i delete the connection then it will give you the error because i am selecting order id from order table and return column from this table okay so i am selecting one column from this sheet another column from this sheet so without connection the graph is not able to see without connection you cannot see the graph right so here i need to create a connection between order id and it will give you this order has been delivered this order has been rejected by the customer due to any issue clear so this is the use of formula and we have covered it about the you know what is the use of power bi what is the power bi desktop how to perform the cleaning task what is the modeling modeling means connecting tables why we are connecting tables what is the use of dax functions basically okay bar chart line chart we have done pie chart now what is the power bi dashboard we have no so power bi dashboard means this is a power bi dashboard basically this is a dashboard dashboard means we are we are converting our numerical data so this is our numerical data and we are converting into such way now you can present to your boss sir this is a total quantity this is a total profit this is a total sales this is a category by sales this is a region by sales and your boss is easily able to understand this is the data that we analyze right are you getting me boy so in this way you can use some you know uh, power bi for loading data for cleaning data for creating a dashboard for applying some formula and functions by using dax and for connecting tables report view data view and model view now finally once creating a dashboard what you need to do here you can do a one thing you can also do a, you can publishing your dashboard and sharing into the power bi service so what is the meaning of power bi service power bi service is the only last option then finally we just end the fundamentals in power bi what is the meaning of power bi service let me tell you 
Power BI service is an option where you can publish your dashboard and share online. Online means so that everybody can see. So if you observe carefully, there is an option called publish. Now see this line, publish this report online in the Power BI service. So Power BI service is paid basically. It is, this is not a free. Power BI service is paid. The software is free. Software is free. You can create a dashboard. But if you want to publish this dashboard online, then you can use a Power BI service, which is a paid. Paid means you need to buy the license. Okay, when you will join in the company, the company will give you the license, not to worry about that. Okay, so Power BI service is free basically. So click on the publish button and click on the save. And now you need to type the email. So here I am selecting official email because Gmail will not work basically. In the Power BI, your gmail.com, outlook.com, redif.com, yahoomail.com, hotmail.com will not work. Power BI only supports official domain. Official means like my email ID is chromacampus.com, flipkart.com, essenture.com, sbi.com. Okay, Gmail, Redip, Outlook, this will not work. Okay, so personal email ID will not work in this case. So I am here, I am typing arpit.verma. I have created an account on Microsoft, basically. At the right, chromacampus.com. Chromacampus.com. So click on the continue. So when I click on the continue, it will try to ask to sign in your account. So I have already created an account on Microsoft with Arpit Verma. Click on it and automatically it will take the default password because I have already signed it. And this is a folder. Basically, I'm uploading this report on this folder. So my workspace is a folder published to Power BI service. Click on the select button. It will be uploading. See, it is publishing online. It is publishing your report webinar.pbibx to online. So online is nothing but a Power BI service where you can publish your report online and success and then click on the open button this is a link when you click on the open button browser will be open now see it is opening the browser right now it is opening the browser done and now here you can click on the share button once open now you can see your dashboard is showing now what i need to do click on the share button so now click on the share button and now you can share this dashboard with any person. So I'm typing my name of the person, which is Subham. Okay. So when I type Subham, it will give you Subham Gupta because this is a manager basically and give some message. Hi Subham, please check this report. Suppose Subham is my boss. So hi Subham, please check this report. You can give some message, please. Hi, please check this report. Please check this report. Basically, please check this report, right? Basically. So uh, Shubham Gupta is my manager basically and I Shubham, please check the room. When I click on the send button, so email will be sent to this Shubham and uh, Shubham will get the notification and Shubham can able to see this dashboard. Okay. So Shubham is a person and you can mention one more person. Suppose I'm mentioning over here as, uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm giving one more name called uh, Ankita. So I am selecting Ankita. So it is showing Ankita Jaiswal. So this is my company person also. This is my company employee. Okay. So I want to share this report with two of my colleagues, Subham Gupta and Ankit and give some message and click on the send button. Email will be sent to this, uh, you know, Subham and Ankita and uh, link will be given. And when the Subham and Ankita will click on the link and he and she can able to see my dashboard, this dashboard. So now you can share your dashboard online by using a concept of Power BI service, by using this button called Power BI service. This is a very good option where you can publish it online and click on the share button and now you can use. But remember this thing, you can only use this feature, you can only use this feature when you have a paid license because this feature is not available for free of cost. Are you getting my point? So share option, chatting option, these options are only available when you are using a paid license. Paid means, see, I am using a free software. See, license type. You can see the license type. I am also using free account. But I am using trial version basically. So Power BI service comes with 60 days trial. You can use this service 60 days free of cost. Okay, you can use this service 60 days free of cost. My license will be expired after 14 to 24 days. So 24 days are still left. I'm able to use this uh, software for 24 days more. Then after this, my license will be expired. And now after when license will be expired, now I, I will not be able to use this feature called share. 
So share button, chatting button is only possible when you have a paid license or when you have a trial version license. So still I have a trial version license. So now I'm able to use this feature. But if you don't have any license, then you cannot be able to use this feature. Please remember this thing. Okay. So this option is really good. You can share your code online with your friend. Doesn't matter whether the your friend laptop contain Power BI software or not. Doesn't matter. Okay, it will be applicable online. It will be see online when I your friend when your friend click on the link, it will be visible on. So this is a very important feature called share button. And here after completely you can sign up by using this option called sign up, right? Okay, so this is a very important option. Okay, where you can uh, you know create your dashboard, you know, and uh, in the model view you can connect your tables and applying some formula and functions by get data you can get some data in your power bi and then after you can use the cleaning task by using transform data transform data means power query data where you can clean some data and and create a dashboard and then you can connect two tables in the data modeling view okay so report view you have done power data view you have done and model view have done and you know how to get the data from different sources Okay, and how to use the Power Query Editor for cleaning the task. Once your dashboard has been done, now you can finally successfully upload by using the Power BI service by click on the publish button. And you can see my name. I have already created an account. You can sign out. So it will be sign out done. And you can cross this on a browser. So in this way, you can use this feature Power BI service by sharing your report online and share with your friend, share with your colleague, your manager, which is far located from your office. Like I'm dealing, I'm, you know, working in Delhi office and your boss is working in California office or any other office like Bangalore or Hyderabad. So you can click on the share button. The report will be shared immediately uh, to your boss uh, email ID and you will get the notification also here. If somebody, some, some other person will tag you, like suppose you are the boss and uh, some other, you know, your team member is sharing your report. So you will get the notification icon over here. Okay, somebody shared your report with you. Okay. I am clearing the notification. So same as Facebook and you can also download here. Suppose if you are download the file, you can download here by using this option called download. And you can also here for sign out. Once uploaded, you can sign. Okay. So this is a very important feature in Power BI, which is a Power yes, BI sir. service. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah. Yes, sir. Sir, hmm. without share option, after we have downloaded the file, we can share it. After we have yes, downloaded you can share it. it. You can share it. You can share this while you are uploading. You can share this file webinar on WhatsApp. But what is the drawback? Suppose, suppose we don't have a paid license. I want to share this file on WhatsApp or email. You can share this file. But what is the drawback? Uh, when suppose I'm sharing this file to you. So you need a software in your laptop to see this file. You need to install this PowerBI software to see this file, right? So suppose you don't have any this software in your laptop. So you need to install this software in your laptop. Then you can able to see this file if I'm sharing on uh, WhatsApp, right? But if I'm sharing this file on Power BI service like this, then there is no need to use this software because it will be open on the browser. So this is a benefit. And one more benefit, suppose if I'm doing some changes in the file, suppose if I am click on the edit button, if I click on the edit button, then now you can see you can create one more chart online also. So suppose if I'm making some changes in the graph, suppose if I'm making some changes in the dashboard, so the making changes will be reflected to the boss if you click on the share button. Are you getting my point? But this cannot be done by using this file because this is a static file basically. Again, I need to share. If I'm making some changes after one hour, after two hours, then again, I need to share. Okay. So it means suppose I'm changes in this file three times. So it means I need to share this file three times again and again, again, and again. But in the case of Power BI service, if I do some changes, the changes will be given to the person that you have shared with you. Okay. Are you getting my point? So what is the use of this option called sharing? Okay. Because this is a static file. Once shared, there will be no change. If you are changing here, then you need to give, then you need to send this file again. Again, if you are changing, then again, you need to send. If you are again changing, then again, you need to send on WhatsApp. So this, this method is not good because we are increasing the data day by day. So this method is not good. This method is good because we are changing. Whatever we are changing over here, reflection will be given to your boss automatically by using the share option. Okay. By using the share option. This is a folder basically 
which contains all the files that you have uploaded. Okay. This is a folder basically, which contains all the files that you have uploaded. So recently I've uploaded report file and you can see the timing and this is an honor and you can click on this. It will be open and now click on the share. It will be shared, right? Any questions, any doubt you can ask. So this is all about the basic fundamentals because the purpose of this class is to just to provide the basic fundamentals in Barbi. Okay. Okay. Right. Any questions, any doubt you can ask. That is all. Uh, that is all about from my side. Now I'm closing this. Yeah. So we'll be Ankita, getting the we'll, recording of this class. Uh, recording will be given by the you know team. Shubham, are you there? Shubham and Ankita and Bhumik. Yeah, Bhavtesh. Okay, the class has been over and we have successfully covered all the you know uh, all the topics uh, which is related to the fundamentals of Power BI. Okay, please provide the data set for practice. Okay, okay, let me share the data set. Just give me a minute. I'm sharing, you know, data set on, you know, chat. You can download. I'm sharing a data set on the chat. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Wait for, wait for a minute. Okay. Just give me a minute, guys. Okay. Students, kindly wait for two minutes. Okay. Just give me a minute. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So one student asking for the workspace and RLS. Sunil, actually, you know, it's a, you know, it's a webinar only. Basically, we are trying to, you know, provide only, you know, some basic information. But if you will actually want to learn the Power BI, then there will be in the syllabus RLS. RLS means row level security and workspace. We will let you know about when you will complete want to know the Power BI because in the one class, I am not able to give you all the topics. Okay. Within two hours, we cannot complete all the topics in Power BI, right? So it's a basically webinar where we are trying to provide some basic guidelines. What is the use of Power BI, right? I guess you can use this presentation mainly. Yeah, Durga Prashad. Yeah, sure. But I want to ask, how do we know what measures will do use during creating measures? Actually, measure I am creating means if you want to give the single value, like suppose I want to use the sum function, max function, min function. So this function will give you single value. So that's why I need to use measure. Measure means where you will get single value. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm sharing the data set. Just give me a minute. I'm sharing the data set. Actually, there is a link. I think steam. Let me check how to share the data. Set. Hello, sir. Yeah. Hello. Sir, Can you please share the data set in group? Yes, I'm sharing in. Okay. In group. Yeah. Uh, let me check. Okay. Just give me a minute. And sir, recording will be provided of this. Uh, recording, let me connect with our team. Let me connect with the team. Just kindly wait for a five minutes. Okay. I'm sure. sharing the data set with the team as well. Okay. And I'm looking for just give, give me give me five minutes, guys. Okay. Yeah. Please. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. Any questions? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Hello. I'm audible. Uh, yeah, please. Yes, you are audible. Uh, please sir. go ahead. Actually, uh, while explaining, you told us that uh, wherever the sigma sign is present, that or depicts that it is a numerical type of data. Yeah, numerical code. Where yeah, very good. Is, uh, okay. Where there is uh, 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 no sigma sign, that is textual data. So, sir, okay. I just wanted to ask you, uh, is there any uh, search methodology through which we can uh, uh, differentiate what, uh, how, whether the data is uh, categorical or a discrete? Mass? Categorical means uh, no, there is no any other way you can directly need to go to the data view. Okay, you need to go to the data view to understand uh, the type of uh, data which is present in that column. Like category column is a text data. Okay, so there is a only option you need to go physically check. 
कि दिस कॉलम कंटेन्स दिस टाइप ऑफ डेटा बिकॉज देर इज नो एनी शॉर्टकट मेथड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कॉलम कंटेन्स न्यूमेरिक डेटा दिस कॉलम कंटेन्स डेसिमल डेटा एंड यू कैन ओनली अंडरस्टैंड बाई यूजिंग दिस सिग्मा सिंबल सिग्मा मीन्स इट्स अ न्यूमेरिकल कॉलम एंड इफ देर इज नो सिंबल इट्स अ टेक्स कॉलम इफ देर इज अ डेट कैलेंडर सिंबल देन इट्स अ डेट कॉलम देर इज नो अदर शॉर्टकट एक्सेप्ट दिस ओके Uh, any more question sir uh, is there any uh, methodology means is there any such shortcut like for uh, creating new measure or uh, there we can upload a no. numerical as well as textual no. data there will be no shortcut p there will uh, be no sir, shortcut p uh, for creating a okay. measure okay sir okay, but you in numerical click on the uh, please go ahead uh, sir but in new, uh, new measure uh while we are creating new measure um we can add their textual as well as numerical both the data right both both the data both the data it will be applicable for both the data measure can be applicable on numerical column as well as text okay. column but numerical column you can use the function as sum function max function min function oh. see all the students are connected let me tell you if you want to apply any formula like okay. you want to apply some formula so some formula can be only be possible on a numerical column but if you want to apply some formula in a text column which is not able to do you can only apply the count formula on a text column because text cannot be added text cannot be plus right okay so okay. this things yes. that you need to remember okay yeah please thank ankita you. please go ahead thank you sir okay ankita okay thank you yeah sir can i share you how to create an account uh, ek minute let me uh, there is a question Can you share how to create an account in Power BI? Because I have done something presentation, but not able to share the present. Actually, account should be you know official. Official means you need to use your domain account. Domain account it should be affiliated with a company organization. You cannot use any Gmail account or any you know Outlook or any type account basically. Yeah. Yeah, I have a list. Basically, ah, uh, Shailen, we have a list of important decks. Like because in a deck, basically, we are trying to cover you know seventy different formulas. Okay, but this is a webinar. Basically, okay, we have a complete list. So if you want to enroll in that list, then you will get the complete you know PDF of all the formulas. Okay, because decks is the most important part in you know, ah, uh, Power BI. Sum function, max function, count function, calculate function, related function, related table, all function, filter function. upper function lower function left function right function mid function right so so many functions we have uh, in power bi but in 2 hours which is not possible to dictate right okay yeah any more questions ankita please go ahead okay yeah we have all almost covered each and every topic in power bi yeah ankita please go ahead take the okay. command okay okay sir yeah so sure. Okay. Hi, everyone. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi, everyone. So before we start the session, I would like to introduce myself. This is Ankita from Chroma Campus. Okay, and I am a business communication manager over here. So, guys, Chroma Campus is a tech institute, as you know that. Okay, and we are dealing into one forty plus IT professional courses. Okay. so before we proceed towards placement or grooming sessions i have shared a link in this chat box okay i am requesting to all of you kindly fill that form please in next 5 minute kindly fill that form please in next 5 minute then we will continue ankita ankita i need your one help i am sharing a data set uh, kindly share the data set with uh, these all students because these students want a data set for practice okay So I am sharing a data set with you. Kindly share the data set with all the you know these students. Okay, so they they can do practice at your home. Okay, Ankita, thank you. Okay, okay sure, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Kindly fill that form, please. In next five minutes, I am waiting here.
हेलो मैम आई वांटेड टू आस्क दैट आफ्टर फिलिंग द फॉर्म द लिंक दैट हैज बीन गिवन इन द ओके मैम दैट इज द रिकॉर्डिंग लिंक रिकॉर्डिंग विल बी शेयरिंग इन योर ग्रुप Ma'am, there is a line save the below session link. So, what link is it? It's a current session link. Okay, all right, ma'am. Thanks. Okay, so I hope every attendee has successfully submitted the form. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we can continue for placement session. Yeah, sure. Yeah. ओके सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द प्लेसमेंट प्रोसेस ओके प्लेसमेंट प्रोसेस में हम आपको मल्टीपल एक्टिविटीज कराते हैं सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द ग्रूमिंग सेशन ओके हेलो मैम सो एम आई ऑडिबल हेलो मैम यस मैम कैन यू सेंड द फॉर्म अगेन प्लीज ओके Okay, so I have shared the form in your chat group. Kindly check over there. Okay, so the placement process me, we have you multiple activities. So we start with the grooming sessions. Okay, so first activity is grooming session. Okay, so in this part, you are going to learn about the personality development. Okay. So, anyone is having idea what is grooming session? Anyone is having idea? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay, so let me explain. So, yes, ma'am. You are going to learn about the personality development. Okay. जब आप इंटरव्यू के लिए कंपनी में जाते हैं आपका बॉडी पोस्टर कैसा होना चाहिए आपका वे ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन कैसा होना चाहिए आपका आई कांटेक्ट कैसा होना चाहिए हाउ टू कैरी योर सेल्फ इन अ कंपनी ओके आप कैसे अपने आप को कंपनी में रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं ओके एंड ग्रूमिंग सेशन में आप सीखेंगे आपको अपने कॉन्फिडेंस को कैसे बिल्ड करना है ओके वी कंडक्ट ऑनलाइन एंड ऑफलाइन सेशन एज पर द स्टूडेंट रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड गाइज आई हैव अटैच स्क्रीन शॉट हियर इन दिस पीपीटी सो यू कैन सी द पिक्चर एज वेल Okay. Second activity is mock interview and written test. ओके यू विल गेट ऑल द अपडेट्स थ्रू व्हाट्सएप एंड सोशल मीडिया विल इस तरह से हम आपके मॉक इंटरव्यूज कराते हैं विद द हेल्प ऑफ टेक्निकल ट्रेनर ओके जो आपकी स्किल्स को इवेल्युएट करता है ओके ट्रेनर आइडेंटिफाई करते हैं कि अभी तक आपने ड्यूरिंग द ट्रेनिंग क्या सीखा है आप कहाँ पर लैक कर रहे हैं देन वो उसके अकॉर्डिंगली आप पर एफर्ट करते हैं आपको प्रिपेयर करते हैं ओके हम आपके रिटर्न टेस्ट भी करवाते हैं विद द हेल्प ऑफ टेक्निकल ट्रेनर ओके टेस्ट पेपर्स आपके दो तरह के होते हैं फर्स्ट इज रिटर्न टेक्निकल पेपर एंड वन इज मॉक इंटरव्यू ओके विच वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस यू सो एच आर टीम गिवस यू रेटिंग बेस्ड ऑन द टेस्ट पेपर्स एंड मॉक इंटरव्यू इफ योर मार्क्स इज 
less than 3.5, then you have to again practice of these questions. OK. इस तरह से हम आपके ऑफलाइन सेशंस कंडक्ट कराते हैं दिस इज द प्लानर ऑफ मॉक इंटरव्यूज वी हैव कंडक्टेड फॉर ऑल द टेक्नोलॉजीज ओके द बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस प्लानर इज अगर आपका कोई मॉक सेशन या आपका टेस्ट पेपर मिस हो जाता है देन आप इस प्लानर के अकॉर्डिंग चेक कर सकते हैं कि नेक्स्ट सेशन कब अरेंज किया गया है देन यू कैन ज्वाइन अकॉर्डिंगली ओके नेक्स्ट हम बात करते हैं रिज्यूमे बिल्डिंग के बारे में ओके और एच आर टीम विल हेल्प यू टू बिल्ड अप योर रिज्यूमे वो आपको फॉर्मेट शेयर करेंगे आपको गाइड करेंगे प्रॉपर कि आपको अपना रिज्यूमे कैसे क्रिएट करना है ओके दे विल गाइड यू प्रॉपरली द स्टेप्स ओके ये हेल्प आपको प्लेसमेंट डिपार्टमेंट से मिलेगी तो अब हम बात करते हैं जॉब पोर्टल के बारे में जन लाइक अदर प्लेटफॉर्म लाइक नौकरी डॉट कॉम वर्क इंडिया डॉट कॉम इंडिक डॉट कॉम एटसेट्रा so chroma is having its own job portal where we update all the latest vacancies where you can apply by correct okay jab aapki training 60 to 70% cover ho jati hai then aapko is portal ka access mil jata hai aap khud se check kar sakte hain kaun si latest vacancy aayi hai then aap apni profile ke accordingly apply kar sakte hain job ke liye okay job apply kaise karna hai usme hr team aapki help karti hai okay we will make announcement like this format for jobs hiring you will get all the updates through whatsapp and social media as well jaise hi aapke training 60 to 70% complete ho jati hai placement team aapke mock interviews karati hai aapke written papers karati hai project aapka ready hoga then aapke paas job interview updates aana start ho jate hain job updates aap job portal pe regularly check kar sakte hain kaun si latest vacancy aayi hai announcement aapko milega सोशल मीडिया चैनल के थ्रू आपको जॉब अपडेट्स मिलेंगे व्हाट्सएप के थ्रू आपको जॉब अपडेट्स मिलेंगे प्लेसमेंट का ग्रुप का एक प्रॉपर व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप बनेगा जहां पर आप चेक कर सकते हैं अनाउंसमेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन आपको मिलेगी ओके देन आप अपनी रेलिवेंट जॉब्स के लिए अप्लाई कर सकते हो ओके आप अपने सीवी एच टीम को शेयर करोगे एच टीम उन सीवी को शॉर्ट करती है ओके जो आपके ट्रेनर्स की हेल्प से बनाए होंगे देन एच टीम सीवी को कंपनी में फॉरवर्ड करती है आपकी प्रेपरेशन ऑलरेडी रेडी हो चुकी ओके okay? आपके इंटरव्यूज हो चुके मॉक इंटरव्यूज आपके रिटर्न पेपर्स हो चुके सो नाउ यू आर रेडी फॉर द इंटरव्यू ओके तो आपको इंटरव्यू कॉल्स मिलना स्टार्ट हो जाएंगे अब आपको कोई इंटरव्यू फेस करना है आप कहीं पर लैक कर रहे हो आपको लगता है कि आपको दोबारा से पढ़ना है कोई टॉपिक आपका क्लियर नहीं हुआ है तो उस केसेस में हम आपको रिविजन भी कराते हैं ओके okay? आपका जब तक प्लेसमेंट प्रोसेस क्लियर नहीं हो जाता हम तब तक आप प्रोसेस को रिपीट कराते हैं ओके okay? इस तरह से आपके पास इंटरव्यू कॉल आएगा यू विल गेट ऑल द डिटेल्स इस तरह से डिटेल्स मेंशन होगी जब आपका सीवी शॉर्टलिस्ट हो जाएगा कंपनी में तो इस तरह से आपके पास इंटरव्यू कॉल आता है So guys, as you know that Chroma is having 13 year old company. Okay, so we have tied up more than 150 plus companies, which are MNCs and startups both. Companies like Volkswagen, JCB, Genpact, Infosys, Paytm, TCS, HCL, etc. So, हम आपको जब jobs के लिए refer करते हैं, तो इन्हीं top companies में हम आपको refer करते हैं. Okay? You can see the picture of our recently placed students. We are having outstanding placements. आप Chroma campus के पेज को follow कीजिए आप check कर सकते हैं उनकी details check कर सकते हैं उन्होंने अपनी testimonial journey share की हुई है After completing your training, you will get certificate from Chroma campus. And guys, as you can see that we are affiliated with different partners and we are certified member of NASCOM and Wipro as well. Okay? This is our team and employees and management. We are working with 200 plus employees who is are working here.
this is our contact details. You can contact us through these details. OK, so any doubt, any query? Related placement, any doubt, any query you can ask with me. No, ma'am. No, ma OK, so guys, thanks for the choosing Chroma campus. And thanks for attend the session. Thanks a lot, man, for session. <clears throat> Ma'am, where will we get the link of this session? We will provide this link on your WhatsApp group. OK, ma'am, thank you. We will also and we will also share your certificate on your mail ID. OK, thank you everyone.